man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call. As you're over to our website at TFNN, folks, you're going to see it right under Featured Content. You hit that button, you hit the opening call, you get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199, or 22%. And you can get it for a year for $1195, which is a savings of $593, or 33%. Now, they all come, folks, you get, you get them for a month, you, get, you, know, you can get them for a year. If you're happy in the month, great, you're going to continue to get charged. If you're not, for some reason, you get your money back. So it's a great value. Basil has approximately 11 webinars that are there already. So you really understand how the market runs, how the Chapman Wave runs. Great service. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, 24 hours ago, things were very different in the market. Boy, I'll tell you. And thanks for doing my program, Basil. I really appreciate it, man. It's my pleasure. Thank you for yeah. asking me. Yeah, no, I saw those numbers yesterday. And then I was looking at the market today and says, man, this is going to be a trip just in general. I mean, I... I figured it was going to be a, a sideways to down market, but they're giving it to the market in a big way. There's no doubt, man. Yeah. Well, the, the market attempted this morning to rally, and then when the Fed, uh, one of the Fed uh, governors came yeah, out. Yeah, Esther George. Right. Yeah, yeah and, that, and that, I think, well, let me just show you something quickly, because this is all the stuff that I'll be talking about in my webinar coming up a week from yes. Wednesday. And so... I have a chart that I show subscribers for decades I've been showing. Um, this is, I call it my triple yield weekly chart. This is on the left. This is the, the white is the, the 10, sorry, this is the 30 year TYX, 30 year T bond yield. This is the white one. The brown one is the TNX, which is the 10 year T note yield. And the cyan, light blue one, is the five year FVX, five year T note yield. And look, the right. five is above the thirty and the ten. Oh yeah! I went back to try to find that when we when we made the top back in uh, November of 2018, before the Fed started talking about higher rates. Uh, look what happened! Uh, we didn't get a crossover like that. We didn't get that. And when I go back to even the uh, 2000 and the financial disaster of 2007, eight, and nine. Look, on June the 7th, uh, June of 2007, we didn't have, they were very close, but we didn't get that overlap. Yes, the cyan went above the, that's the five year, went over the 10, but not over the 30. So this is something that I don't recall seeing for a very, very long time. So I have to take it seriously in the sense that it has market repercussions. That's number one. Uh, number two is if you look at this right side chart, this is the wood, the iShares Global Timber and Forestry ETF, stuck in a rectangle formation. I'm going to be talking about the rectangle formation, the narrow, long rectangle formation. What happens when it goes uh, at, at a high, there's this uh, horizontal uh, channel. And if it breaks to the upside and then comes back down and then breaks the downside, what does it do? Well, this is stuck in the middle. So, so far, that's saying, Internationally, the timber and forestry ETF is still doing well, but look what happened to the HGX, which is the Philadelphia Housing Index, in this long channel, and it broke to the downside, and it couldn't break the upside. So that's all part of, of what I'm going to be discussing, and it, these are all relevant to what we're looking at in the market. So let me just go through some of the things I heard you talking about, and I'll, I'll, I'll look at it in, in my own Chapman Wave methodology. This is what we'll be discussing in my webinar. So I talk about rectangle formations can last a lot longer than your patience. Yes. So there's, there's a very wide rectangle, and then there's a narrow rectangle. This is kind of a mix. This is the dollar. And uh, subscribers have been along the dollar since April of 2018. We watched it go all the way from about 90. It went all the way to about 103, pulls back, and now it's still holding very well. And this, to me, has been kind of an icon of the American economy internationally, where funds have gone into the currency that they thought had the, the most... Uh, um, vigor and so far that's the dollar but I talk about it in saying that a channel can look very deceiving because as it goes to the top of the channel you think oh now it's gonna break out 
and then it suddenly turns around and goes to the bottom. And we've had these double bottoms and double tops. I was there. Oh, there's another one I want to show. Just we as have. I'm saying, yeah. I'm talking about I'm talking about what I'll be discussing in, in my webinar because here is going to be very important. The dollar is at 99.47. Yep. And uh, the last high was ninety nine forty two. So even though it's broken it by five cents, it has broken the previous high. Will this be a change in the scenario that all of a sudden it does break to the upside, or does it do like? Let me show you another channel that uh, went sideways for a long time. This is the Russell two thousand. It went sideways between. Look at this. This is the weekly chart between two thirty four and two hundred and seven. For months, it went sideways, and it finally broke out and went to a peak D, that fourth highest peak I always talk about, to 244, 46, and then it went right through the base of the, yeah. uh, the channel to the bottom. So these channels, the, the wide Basil, channel. That, that one you just did, is was that a daily or a weekly or a monthly? This is a weekly chart weekly, of cool. the IWM, okay. the Russell 2000. Okay, cool, cool. So, so I'm sure, let, let's yeah. talk about also, so the, the webinar is going to be October 13th, right? Yes. From 4 to 5.30, right? Yes. And it's very and, easy to get in this, folks, okay? The bottom line, just come over to our website. Uh, the open calls right on the front page under future content. You hit that. If you're a subscriber, you're going to get a great newsletter and you're going to get a great webinar. Okay, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I just want people to understand how no, quick I they can get into good. that. Do you know what I mean? Yes. So I, I'm trying to uh, you help me articulate what I'll be showing. So a pattern that I've been looking at is just this is one of the many, many patterns. Uh, you had been speaking about gold. So I, I spoke about this rectangle formation. If it's a wide rectangle formation, then there's the pattern that I always talk about is that from the bottom, if this starts to make higher highs and higher lows after a big spiral to an up move, it's like a flagpole and it comes down the flagpole. Then the rule of thumb that I have is that the price can go to just under, right on, or just above the previous high. Well, this is the GDX, and the high of the 8th of March was 40.26. It falls sharply down to 35.67, starts this move within the rectangle that I've been talking about, and lo and behold, today it goes to leg D. And what is the price? 39.88. It is less than 30 cents away from the previous high. So, and it's in leg D. D is where we're always looking to see right. what's going to happen next. So, it doesn't mean to say it has to crash or anything. It just says yeah, right no. here is, is some vulnerability within the rectangle formation. So, the GDS can remain digesting these huge gains that it's had for months. Uh, just going sideways. So I just wanted to explain how we can look at it. And here's another thing that's fascinating. Look at the lows. 28.83 was the low the week of the 1st of October in the GDX. It runs up to the 34 and a half area. Comes back down to what? 28.87. Four cents higher. And then it starts this move to, the, to this double top. So it's very interesting. This is a double bottom. It's the same principle. So these are the techniques I'm going to be showing. And um, it applies to all the, all the charts that we're looking at. We've been raising cash. We raised a little more cash over the last two days. And folks, um, it's, it's very easy to guys visit, get the opening call. Plus, you'll be in the workshop. Just come over to our website at TFNN. Go into featured content. Hit that button. And you are riding that wave. Thanks, Basil. Have a Thank great you, one. Tom Look forward to show tomorrow. Thank you. You too.